During a working visit to the Perm region in August, the PD-35 technology demonstrator engine was inspected by several high-ranking Russian officials, including the regional governor, Dmitry Makonin, the head of the Federal Air Transport Agency, Dmitry Yadrov, and Minister of Transport, Andrei Nikitin. This engine was displayed at the outdoor test station of the enterprise UEC, Aviadvigadel, a subsidiary of the United Engine Corporation under the Rostec State Corporation. Their visit emphasized the strategic importance of this state-of-the-art turbine in Russia's aerospace sector. The military channel Fighter Bomber reported that the PD-35 is a cutting-edge, two-circuit turbofan engine with exceptionally high thrust. This makes it a significant achievement in Russian aviation technology. The core of this engine, the gas generator, drives its operation. Its design features several advanced technologies, many of which come from the PD-14 engine. These innovations aim to boost performance and reduce production costs through 3D-printed turbine blades and modern materials. The PD-35 is not just about stronger propulsion. It also represents industrial progress and technological modernization. According to the channel, while the engine is not yet assigned to a specific aircraft, it is expected to power the upcoming PAC VTA military transport plane. The PD-35 marks a major technological milestone as Russia's first engine capable of generating 35 tons of thrust. Its development is part of the High Thrust Aircraft Engine Program, which tests and validates key advanced technologies. The initial testing phase was completed successfully in 2024. Results from the test bench confirmed the quality of the engineering behind the engine. Alexander Inazemtsev, Deputy General Director of UEC and Chief Designer at UEC Aviadvigatel, highlighted this as a solid foundation for future Russian high-thrust engines. The PD-35 is being considered for use in long-range wide-body aircraft, this type of aircraft is crucial for Russia's vast geography and strategic need for efficient long-distance flights. Weighing nearly 10 tons with a fan diameter over 3 meters, the PD-35 produces around 35,000 kilograms of thrust. It is entirely manufactured in Russia, including the engine and the test stand. This highlights the country's pursuit of aerospace self-reliance. Sources indicate that the PD-35 comes in at least two key versions. The standard PD-35 produces about 35 tons of thrust. The PD-35M variant can reach up to 41 tons, better suited for higher-performance aircraft. The engine could also be adapted for different aircraft, with output options like 38 tons or more. One potential use for the PD-35 is in the China-Russia Joint Wide-Body Aircraft Project, known as the C-929. This twin-engine jet aims to compete with Boeing and Airbus in the 250 to 300 passenger range. Despite reports of Russia's possible exit from the project, the PD-35 remains a strong contender to power this jet. Its thrust level is well aligned with the performance needs of the C-929, and complements Chinese engine options under consideration. Russian aircraft manufacturer Ilyushin is exploring a twin-engine upgrade of its L-96 wide-body aircraft. Originally designed with four PS-90A engines, this version would use two PD-35 engines. The goal is to boost efficiency, cut fuel use, and reduce maintenance costs while extending the aircraft's lifespan. While specific details are limited, the proposed model could meet market needs for economical long-haul transport. This month, the United Aircraft Corporation patented a new design for a family of wide-body, long-haul aircraft. These planes are designed for flights up to 13,600 kilometers, including over oceans and isolated regions. The SHF DMS 500, 600, and 700 variants can carry 236, 281, and 320 passengers, respectively. They aim to outperform the Boeing 7879, with direct operating costs around 6% lower. Standard cabin layouts will support three travel classes. The use of composite materials enhances their efficiency. 
the PD-35 is expected to be the main engine for this aircraft family. However, it may need upgrades to produce 38 tons of thrust or more to meet these jumbo jet requirements. Discussions are also ongoing about developing a PD-26 engine for the AN-124 transport aircraft. However, a more immediate plan is in motion at the Ulyanovsk Mechanical Plant, or UZGA. They are preparing to start serial production of a modernized D-18T engine. Production is expected to begin in the fourth quarter of 2027. UZGA is currently replacing imported parts and already has deep experience in overhauling D-18Ts. But full-scale production of a completely Russian-made D-18T has yet to begin. In conclusion, the PD-35 engine stands as a powerful symbol of Russian aerospace innovation and independence. With several variants delivering between 35 and 41 tons of thrust, it's designed for a range of long-haul, wide-body aircraft. These include the Chinese-Russian C-929 project, the twin-engine IL-96 modernization, and new aircraft lines from UAC. The recent inspection of the demonstrator engine by top Russian officials highlights its strategic importance. It plays a key role in Russia's goal of enhancing its aviation capabilities, both at home and internationally. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.